Whoa, hello friends, how's it going? This is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. American Campaign, Telemade is next. Hey now, this one's letting us scale up too again. I'm a legend. Okay, you only you can put two to four in here, and I think this is the one where the game's gonna tell us to go over here, and then there's gonna be some ships that attack us too. So, I'm trying to think, like I, I think I'll put one transport in with uh, four units of two hundred marines each, and then I prepared three ships that have thirteen hundred on them. So Hancock. New York and Boston. Captain, we've arrived just in time. Oh no, okay. This is not the one that I was thinking of. Alright, this is a... Alright, I know this one. No, we don't have to worry about ships attacking us. All right, yeah, so this one, okay, sorry, I I totally thought this was a different one. All right, well. All right, well, all the ships are coming. I'm going to have these guns shoot at their guns. Gonna have these infantry go over here. This infantry's gotta get over here. They're gonna assault us at some point. So now, I think what I do in this one is we definitely want one of our ships over here. And this ship can probably go right over here. Want him to be able to shoot at them. And I'm gonna figure out uh, transport could get over here. Or better yet, transport over here because I don't want it to interfere with this ship. So I'll put this ship over here and then I'll have it turn so it can shoot. And I, I always like to go fast right here because We could just try to hold them off from attacking us. Yeah, it's it's incredible how this one unit is is right here when I'm trying to melee them. And it doesn't matter that we're going to lose that. Alright, so now i got to get back to normal speed. Yeah, and look at this guy running over into this guy here. Like, that is really silly.
Yeah, what I'm doing here, like, okay, so I, I, I thought this was a totally different battle, but, um... I'm wondering if the, the one I was thinking about was in the British campaign or something. It's the one where you bring your ships and there's a little little fort with three units on it and and they fight and then they they get if if you just leave them they're going to get overrun anyway. And then you come on here and you fight the enemy but then the enemy keeps coming and then it's just better to just get on your ships and then fight the four ships that come at you. So yeah, I I totally thought this was the different battle. But either way, I mean it's okay. Like I said, I'm just, you know, letting my ships. They can get shots on them. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I can even tell these guys to get over here. Yeah, this is hilarious. My ships can save the day, actually, you know what I mean, like... Without even landing, I can probably wipe the heck of a lot of them out. And the Allies are just hanging in there. Now look at this. I have the mortar and artillery shooting at that one unit in front here. And he's just staying steadfast right there. Right, he's finally moving away. I have two artillery and one mortar hitting him. Well, I don't even, I don't even think I have to do much, but, you know, I'm just gonna drop out the Marines. I think we'll come up here and see what else is about there. Like, I don't even think I have to risk any of my guys. I mean, this ship should be shooting at that unit right there.
Oh, look at that big unit right here. We didn't even know he was there. We didn't even know he was there. Look how giant that unit is. Wow. Oh yeah, just hold, 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 hold. Now that we can see them, let the two ships do the work. Luckily I have this ship here because look what I just did. These three units are going to do an assault again. Four. Alright, look. Um, you uh, See, we can't, we can't see that unit. Sometimes we can see that unit and sometimes we can't. I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's pathetic, huh? And my my Marines are right here, and they haven't even they haven't even lost one guy yet. I don't know who he's shooting at. Like, is he shooting at my ship? Who is she? He shooting at? So. Now the bad thing about, like I said, shooting using ships to shoot artillery is going to destroy the unit, but that's okay. I've got plenty of money. I got plenty of rep. I don't need the, I don't need any of this. Like if this was the starter campaign, I'd be more concerned. But where this is almost the end of the campaign, I don't need none of this anyway, so it doesn't matter. At least now they don't have an artillery unit here to hit me anymore. And as you can see, we're just, uh, we, we use these guys as decoys. And now I think I can move two of my units up. Yeah, because these guys, the moment they come at us, they're going to get blasted by those two ships. I'm going to get my two marines up here to make sure that they do not um, take it. I think I could probably even move the third unit.
And I'm probably going to still need a force though, because like I said, uh, we, we might not be able to reach those over there. Yeah, they still got a 230 unit right there. Oh, we can actually finish. Oh, well, yeah, because we got the flag, so I mean, we could finish, but... Um, so if you didn't want to pursue all this, you could just finish and be done with it. Move on to the next battle, but... Um, I like to destroy the enemy, so... And they, I mean, they still got a lot of force. I mean, I mean, a, a lot of their units are kind of broken, but still, they, they got a lot of force. Right, I'm going to use these two artillery to try to take that one out. See, my ships can't quite reach it. Okay there. All right, we knocked that artillery out right there. Oh. Well, I lost one 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 guy from my unit. Like it looks like collateral damage probably. I guess I'm afraid to walk over here because I'll get hit by my own ships. I think we should shoot at the most closest unit. We probably should get some good hits. Yeah, nice. <laughs> like I said, folks, just go to the end of my video if you want to see the results. I mean, this is, like I said, uh, what can I say? This is another battle where you can use your ships to, to shoot at the enemy, you know? And why not? Why take... Because... Cause, if I lose, like I said, if I lose like a thousand of my guys, I mean, it, it, that'll cost like 10, 15,000 to replace those veterans, you know what I mean? Or at least 9,000 or something, so I mean, yeah, if I lost, like if I put all these guys over here and they all came at me and stuff, 
I would lose hundreds and hundreds of guys and, that, and that's you know thousands and thousands of dollars now of course uh, the ships I don't know if they're they're getting any good uh, good XP because you know I don't know the all the calculations the game makes but um, you know what I mean like like I'm not sure if if you know what I'm saying like without us shooting at a ship are we getting gunnery XP? You know, like he's at he's at thirty one. Now I don't know if um I don't know if this would you know jump up to thirty two from him killing units off, but you know, because you don't know like if if you know those kind of things like the calculations the game makes. I mean, only a dev would be able to answer that question, like, is my ship gaining XP for killing land units, you know what I mean, by shooting at it? I mean, you think it would, but I, I don't know, I don't know as a, as a fact. Just like if I put an artillery unit right here and I shoot at this ship and I kill, say, a hundred guys, that artillery unit doesn't gain any kills like so but you but but as you know in any land battle let's say you're on the land and the British are here if you put your you know your artillery like say over here on an angle where he can't shoot you because you have to watch out for a front gun or a back gun and then these right here so you can see this wave here but if you you put the artillery right here and you shoot at this ship that artillery unit does not gain any XP and I and I just wish it did um because you know this artillery unit could could damage this ship so much that it'll it'll just sink in a land battle because the devs made it so you won't be able to take over a ship in a in a land battle. But um, what I'm saying is they don't gain any XP for uh, sh shooting a ship. Like I, th not that I know that I've noted. So you know you could you could tell me if they do, but I know they don't get if they kill a hundred guys, you don't see a hundred kills on the artillery. You only see the artillery if they killed, say, a hundred of these guys on land, then they get those recorded. But if they kill them on a ship, they do not get it. So, so let's look at that in reverse of where my ship is shooting at their infantry. So is my ship gaining XP? You know, like gunnery is still 31 so I mean I don't know I mean you have to agree that all of my ships I think each one of them has has really devastated a lot of that enemy Yeah, he still wants to come over here and engage my marine unit, but if I see him coming, I'll tell this ship to shoot at him and stuff like that. And like I said, you know, I, like I don't know, like for while well, I'm not doing anything in the game, I'm just yakking away. Um, like this gunner, gunner, gunnery is 35. This one's 29. And this one's only 19. This is Catherine, the merchant ship. So she certainly doesn't have, you know, much. Because I hardly ever use her, you know what I mean? Like, I only put her into this one. Because I thought, I thought this battle was the one where you just land, try to save the two, three units over here. And then run back to the ships, get on it, and then fight the enemy ships that come. But 
I, I, I forget the name of that battle and I thought it was this one but it's uh so anyways all right well you like I said you know I guess I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to land I guess but Let me take some units off off of uh, this here. Yeah, because maybe that'll incite some of them to come over here and then my ship will be able to shoot them. And it's kind of funny that we haven't even lost this, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just getting the ships in the right spots help defend that. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm thinking that they can't have much of a force right now. I mean, I know I seen they had a a big a big unit over there, so I'm just gonna try to make a defensive line here. Yeah, here he is, 300. All right, you got. So you just stop. You get right there. Yeah, we definitely don't want to get in the way of the guns. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, at some point I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to,
Uh, look at my look at my my ships have been hit. <laughs> that unit kept coming forward and he backed off. Well, some units shattered. Yeah, I mean, I guess at some point I could just shut the guns off and then get all the infantry here and just move in and knock these guys out, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to put up with it, but... I mean, can't quite argue with that, though, as far as the effectiveness of the ships to um, help defend this. Because they want to keep trying to get the flag, and they just, they're, they're just getting bombarded. Okay, so now um, my unit, I'm probably getting killed a little bit by my own ship, you know, like he is supposed to be shooting the units over here, not units over here, like you'd be shooting the ones over there. And like I said, this ship should be shooting those units over there. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, there's that big unit. Let's try to shoot that unit. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yep, you look at shattered, shattered. Yeah, I mean, Uh, this is actually... Oh, now let's get that 200 unit right there. Come on, ship. Hit that unit. Hit him. He's so close. Hit him. Oh, yeah. Take the morale right out of him. Yeah, because if we could if we could really hurt that two hundred there, then maybe I could take my ship uh off the guns and send my guys over here to try to wipe them out, you know. But 
that 200 unit, if he decides to melee, he doesn't even have a star, but you saw in the other battle that I did, um, one of their units like meleeed the heck out of a couple of my units. Yeah, I mean, because I, I even topped these ships off at 1,300, you know what I mean? Like, that's pretty much almost maxing them out totally, so. Because yeah, I, thought, I thought I was going to be in a different battle where I had to fight some ships. Normally, I'd just have these guys at 1,200, but um, i just give them an extra 100. Yeah, just a couple of shots. Yep, two more units, two more units shattered. I mean... <laughs> Oh my god, did you see that? Did you see the crossfire? I mean, I was just watching that unit come over here and the ship on this side shot, the ship over here shot, he was in a crossfire. And, and he shattered the unit, just like that. That was, that was hilarious. And where is this unit going? I move all my units over here and he's going to come over here? Oh yes, see how the gun can shoot from the front? Okay, I shut the ship off. <sighs> and they shattered. They didn't even give up. Alright, so I'm shutting the gun off on the, over here because I don't want my units to get hit. And we're going to just uh, head over here and see what's what's around here, I guess.
All right, well, I'm just trying to... Yeah, we don't... We must have, uh, like I said, with our guns shooting, of course, we probably destroyed all the artillery. But again, again, I don't need it. I'm not really going to make any more infantry units or artillery units anyway. There's only a couple of battles left in the campaign, so... Like, I don't even know if the like... The, there was two land battles in a row, and then... I know the campaign ends with two sea battles, but I don't know what's... If there's one more, I don't know uh, what it is. Uh, I'll, I'd have to look on my list. So yeah, I don't see anything. And like I said, my guns are kind of... Okay, it's time to... It's probably time to shut them off. Almost done. Um, yeah, it looks like we destroyed everything as far as any art. They, I, they had several art artillery. They had at least three that I know of. So I don't see any around to pick up. I mean, my ships pretty much, my ships pretty much did it, right? I mean, my ships probably did the whole battle, like, I didn't even have to do squat. Like, there has to be somebody alive, because normally, normally the battle would end... That, that is very strange. Well, um... Yeah, I've you, usually the the battle would end when the last enemy is destroyed. So I mean, I don't I don't know how somebody could be hiding. Yeah, I mean that's I don't think I won't say it's a bug or a glitch, but there might be somebody hiding somewhere, but, it, you know what I mean, it's, like I said. Yeah, I find that very weird. Yeah, generally in land battles, um, the moment the last enemy is dead, the only exception... I think it's like uh, I'm gonna end this real soon <laughs> in a matter of a few seconds but uh what I was gonna say was if there was enemy ships out here then there's there's two ways that it could happen like if you kill all the land-based units maybe it would finish and if it doesn't it's because the ships are out here and so if I take an artillery and I put it somewhere where I can shoot at it, once I kill the last one, 
then maybe it'll end or or something but yeah you know, we like i don't care even if there is one little skirmisher somewhere we're done i mean okay so all you can say is oh uh, look at right i didn't lose one guy from my ship i didn't lose one guy from my ship I had th these these three ships the ships that were the santa simas or whatever they each had 13 and I could repair, but I, they didn't. That one didn't get hurt. That one didn't get hurt. And I just check this one, make sure he didn't get hurt. Yeah, see, I can't do it. And this is what I was gonna say about that. I have ship repair and uh, structure repair and and uh, sail repair, but there's only one icon here. Repair structure, armor, and sail. So by having two of those on the ship. You can just press this and, and it'll, it'll repair both. I mean, I think that's a really nice feature. But, all right, enough said. Um, and, you know, we probably lost some from the Hancock because, you know, we went over here and, and some of the Marines, we lost a few Marines because of our own ship shooting at them. So, anyways, we're done. And it's a victory! So I had 48-20... They had 3704. And I mean, come on, you know that they had at least three artillery, but it doesn't show it here. And then here's the allies. That's a good force. And they, and they held on with, with my ship's help, you know? So basically, you know what I mean? I really... I didn't even, like, <laughs> I only landed the Marines four units from here, and and I, 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 um, I dumped, out of the 1,300, I dumped f about five units out of here, so that's all I risked, and you can see here I lost 25 crew, so I think I only lost 25 total for this whole battle. The Allies lost 923, but, you know, that, that's because they were... They were holding the fort. So I would, I, if I would have landed, I would have lost a heck of a lot more than 25. So I mean, don't you think? So now you know why I, I just kind of like did it this way. You know what I mean? It makes sense. I mean, my my guys on the ships are very very um, strong, and they cost a heck of a lot. And one one guy got promoted. And we got more of these, a thousand of these. Again, a junky gun, but it does have a bayonet. Melee of 26. And I think that's because of... This rifle alone usually is 18. So with a bayonet, this particular rifle goes up to 26 melee. Without it, it's, it's usually... I, th I think it's 18. That's the basic. All right, well, that's it. I mean, if you want to look at that one more time, but I mean, that that's that's it. All right. So you're going to have to tell me like what just doing that with my ships was that a good uh, good strategy or not? You know, like I mean, look at this, right? The Hancock. She lost uh, you know, she was at 1300. Or he was, if you want to say Hancock as a guy. But you know what I mean? We lost a little bit. Okay, that ship wasn't on it. That one wasn't. That one. Okay, New York. Didn't even lose one. Good stats. Perks. All that. So New York. And then Boston. Yeah, and look at this. Boston. Boston and New York. Like I said. They didn't do anything in the battle other than use their cannons, you know what I mean? So talk about, uh, you know what I mean, not losing your troops to do a battle. I mean, that that is something else, you know what I mean? And the Allies hung on. Like, they just barely hung on. But they did. So yeah, I don't know what to say about it, you know what I mean? Like, it's not much. Hey, Ed. Defense Distinguished Service Medal. 
The Defense Distinguished Service Medal is awarded to those individuals who have performed exceptionally distinguished, distinguished service. I might not pronounce that correctly. In the defense of the national security of the colonies. I mean, it's kind of pretty, you know, it's kind of cool. Tailor made. We've got one career point. Well, let's put it into luck. Because the only thing left is these three. They each... Well, this one only will take two ships. But well, why don't I... Why don't I put... Boston and New York into that one because you can only put two anyway. And Hancock, I might as well just put him back to 1300. Now, Fairhaven, I don't think I'd go to 1300. Let me see. No, I can't. So this ship, I normally go to 1200. And the only, the reason is, all the ships have the same thing except the guns. So certain guns weigh, like, like the Dickerson, that thing weighs 27 pounds per gun. I mean, that's, that's quite a bit. But, you know, I wanted to try out that gun. It, you know, it's damage of 17, 204 seconds, but 14 yard, uh, 1,400 yards. I mean, that's why I, I was trying out that gun. So, anyways. So, on those ships that I can only go to 1,200, then that's what I do. And look, look, right? Let me just show you this, right? I just put a few hundred on here, right? with keeping these stats and it's look it's going to cost sixteen thousand dollars so you so this is the reason why i just did those two land battles trying to use the most out of my ships as opposed to putting troops on the ground and fighting so, so do you see do you see might be just i like let me cancel so, okay so we're putting 300 on right with these these stats and I, I don't know if I'm also buying the gun. Maybe I am. But so count the gun and count the veterans. Oops, oops. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, 1,200, right? So that's just... From 900 to 1200, I'm just buying 300 guys, and maybe I'm buying the gun also. Just 300 of it, and it's going to cost 16,000. I mean, that's quite a bit. So, so that's all I'm trying to say is, if, if I get to use my ships, yeah, like look, if I wanted to go to 1200. If I want to go to 1,200 and keep these stats, right, which is insane, because look, oh, and, and, and they want me to, okay, let me, let me just see what guns we have. Yeah, look, we got 4,000 of those. Now, it's not the best gun, but it's not going to cost me any rep, and I do have rep, but I mean, you know, whatever, I'm just, I don't care about it, so. I just want to show, like, if I pick this, I'm not buying any guns. So this cost is strictly the veterans. And that's a lot. That's a lot. And even this one's going to cost me... I mean, it's near the end of the campaign anyway, so. 
And if I buy this gun, it's gonna cost me two rep, twenty thousand. And that gives me one, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, this is insane, right? Spending this kind of money. And we're buying that gun. And these stats isn't even the best. And don't forget, I can save money by buying, um, by taking reserves off, but I might lose the perks. So, like I said, I, I know it's towards the end of the campaign anyway, so I'm just kind of like... All right, I got my main ships. Now we should have enough. And how to catch a rat. All right, that does it. Okay, so logistics is a lot more complicated when fighting a war across the world so far. You have been able to keep the supply lines open so our French allies can pour more men and material onto the continent. This along with your success of continuously or continuous, continuous ha harring Man, why why do they word it that way? I mean, I just it's, I, maybe that's the way they talked back then. Of the Royal Navy has impressed the French, who are offering support for our fledgling navy. Alexander Hamilton, Chief of Staff, Continental uh, Army. The, Br the British have allocated a a large part of the Royal Navy to crush us. If if I can only receive a ship of the line. The damage I could cause would be incredibly fortunate. Fortunately, one such ship is available. Okay, so I think this is the one that's going to... I can, I can get a ship or I can get money. Well, if you look, I only got 27,000 because I blew all my money on my, my ships. And I think they're not going to like me not taking the ship, but I don't care. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. We got 11,013 rep and we sunk the ship. 18,013 rep and we sunk all three ships. 14,000 plus 13 rep. And we sunk the ship. Okay, look, I'm kind of tired and I don't feel like reading. So if you want to read this about Benjamin Franklin in Paris. Oh my gosh. It's basically telling the story of what we did and all that stuff. If you want to read that, you may. But I don't feel like reading it. Okay, now, great, they gave us 186,000. Because, look, I do not need a ship. I've got top-of-the-line ships. I mean, I do not need a ship. And you may read this, too. Kind of tired, so, okay. What is Cape Henry? Okay, so here we are. We're, we're towards the end now. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
All right, this is Cape Henry. So I think this is the one where, well, I'm not going to say what it is, but anyways, I've already got, like I said, I got to be up oh, and <laughs> hey, hey, now this is probably the third video where I'm going to show you this, this bug. And I'm going to tell you that this is a bug that they will probably never fix. It says it needs repairs, needs repairs, needs repairs, needs repairs, needs repairs. Well, as you know, because I've already said this, normally you can't do anything about your ship. Oh, this says needs careers. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Hey, you know what? I could buy another officer, though. All right, there we go. Okay. It's this one, needs ship. Needs repair, I mean. Needs repair, right? But there's no damage. I just gotta put one guy on here, say okay, and then it's done. Same here. Just put one guy on. Oh, and that was stupid because I just bought a one rifle for one rep. That was kind of stupid, but... And right here. Yeah, this is some kind of bug. What it is, is normally, as I mentioned, and I don't want to keep coming repetitive, but the thing is, if you get this prompt, you can't do nothing with your ship until you repair it. And there's usually a prompt that comes up right here that says you have to pay this amount of money to repair it, and then you have access. Just like if you unlock a trophy that's damaged. A prompt comes up, you can't do nothing unless you want to just go to here to sell it, but then you're going to sell it with the guns on it. So the prompt comes up and says you have to repair it because you can't have access. So you repair it, then you have access. You can take the guns off the ship and then you can sell the ship. So you can tell that this is a bug because no prompt is coming up, but I just put one guy there. And now we're back in business. So, I mean, I already have six ships, uh, uh, you know. Uh, and I think what I can do is, like, I think I can just get rid of some, like, Sully. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Like, this is it's getting really towards the end. I mean, right, like, I got these all these Armstrongs here. So if I need money too, I could I could just get rid of these. I don't use them. These are default guns that go on the ships and I just I buy my own ship my own guns here. But we don't have enough of them anymore to put on the ships. Yeah, there's only f uh, 14 of these. I would put this gun on if I if I could have enough of them. There's only 12 of these. I'd put this one on. I'd put I'd put this one on. And I'd put this one on the French reboard. There's only 10. There's only nine of these. I'd put this on my ships. I'd put this one on my ship. Well, there's 32 here. But I might need 36 or 40 of them. So I don't even think I'd be able to put these on my ship. I mean, let, let me check just for the heck of it. A ship that doesn't have any, let me see, like over here. Yeah, I think it's this ship here. Oh, which gun would I replace that with? Yeah, because we could, we could do 34 or 36. So let me see. Let 
Now I got to find it. Yeah, why, why can't I find the one that I was just looking at? That I would put on my ship if I... Is it this one? Nope. Oh well, I... I <laughs> that's funny. Maybe it can't go there. Let me go here then. It looks like this one, but it's not that one. It's not that one. Yeah, I must be losing my mind. I can't... Okay, forget it. Okay, I can't... I, I can't believe if I was just looking at the gun that, that that would... You know what I mean? Oh, I can't find it. So, whatever. It doesn't matter. I just need six ships. I already got six, six ships. So, uh, without making this uh, any more agonizing, I will just go ahead and end it here. <laughs> okay? Because we're up to 35 right here. There's only like the, this, there's this battle here. And then I think there's got to be one more coming up. So I, I think this we're down to the two battles. But anyways, I'm sorry for dragging out the video, honestly. But I was just trying to show you the gun, the type of guns that I put on my ships. I mean, you can see all the ones blacked out there that, that there's not enough of them. So... But it's been fun. So anyways, no matter where you are in the world, have a great day, a great afternoon, or a great evening. Be kind to yourself and others. God bless you and your own religion. This is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.